Meanwhile, members of Nigeria's parliament have commenced hearing into claims of crude oil racketeering by Nigeria's national oil company. This was during the commencement of an investigative hearing on the alleged theft of over $2.4 billion in oil revenue since 2014 by Nigeria's House of Representatives. Our correspondent, Mevelis Mavelos Obomanu, compiled this report. The public hearing is expected to unearth allegations of oil theft and crude oil racketeering. The figures, put at over $2.4 billion in revenue, represents proceeds from the illegal sale of about 48 million barrels of crude oil to China by the nation's national oil company in 2015. The investigation, which was prompted by a whistleblower revelation, claims this ground-scale oil theft has been ongoing for almost nine years. The committee has over the past few months interacted with major stakeholders and MDAs with a view to obtaining detailed records and inventory of intelligence received under the whistleblower policy, recoveries made, disbursement of the statutory percentage to whistleblowers, the process of management of recovered funds, current status of non-cash assets, procedures for disposal of non-cash assets, if any, and all other activities connected to the management and utilization of recoveries achieved under the policy. Several of those invited to provide information on the alleged oil deal, however, did not attend with adequate documents to assist the investigation. But the nation's Code of Conduct Bureau, which was present, expressed worry, saying a similar investigation in the past had also revealed the same findings. From 2011 to 2014, the total amount sold was 123 billion, 981 million, 183,703 dollars. The CBN confirmation money received is 42 billion. In a related development, some aggrieved members of a whistleblower's network expressed worry over the ongoing investigation. They say despite providing information on the alleged oil deal, they have not been invited to participate in the hearing. The whistleblower will finish Honorable Mark Miller, the information. Graham the 48 million barrel crude oil stolen did not file any petition on the National Assembly giving rise to the hearing. Neither were there any call at weakness to testify during the hearing. Bila reported other committee hearing is a scam. The lawmakers say they will use the opportunity of the hearing to give legislative backing to the nation's whistleblower's policy. They say the current hearing would provide more information on providing a final draft for the nation's whistleblower act. Marvelous, a bomb man, reporting for News Central.